Welcome to Princess Connects Live, a show focused on us staying connected to you and to you with us here at Princess. I'm your host, Cruise Director Duval Gamble. Thank you all for joining us here online. I miss seeing all of your faces, talking with you, connecting with you, and of course, cruising with you. I do hope you've made the most of this time, though, uh, relaxing, maybe developing some new skills. Uh, you know, cruising is more than just eating at the buffet and the huge Broadway-style shows in the theater. We also have classes that can help enrich you and help build your skill set. Like, I had never done stargazing before cruising. Like, I, I had a telescope. I just never knew how to work it. So if you're interested in outer space and have a telescope, I suggest you look into it. Okay, cool. Uh, but <laughs> since I've been home, I've developed new talents that without quarantine, I never would have known that I could do. For example, I learned that I can type with one hand, so that way I can pet my dog with the other as he cuddles with me on the couch. One-handed typing, who knew? I can also wake up at 8.59 for the long one-minute commute to my work, aka my spare room, for my nine o'clock Zoom call. See? One minute, takes one minute. See, you laugh before, but not having hair to curl, it saves so much time. So the joke's on you. <laughs> and I've learned that you can make a mask out of anything. You can make a mask out of absolutely anything. For example, I made a mask out of a pair of pants. Yeah, this is a, it's a certified mask. I don't know who certified it. I think it's just me. But yeah, it's a, it's a pair of pants here. And then like, if you're thirsty, you can unzip that and you can, uh, you can take a drink. You can... See, that's all good. And then when you're done drinking, you can go ahead and put that back up. There you go. It's all good. See, it's perfect. You're welcome. See, recycling. But for this episode of Princess Connects Live, we're going to keep it fun, keep it short and lighthearted. After we're done here, if you're still looking for some more industry and princess updates, you can always check our website and sign up for email updates. Now, our featured guest today is master mixologist Rob Floyd, and all of you are going to have the chance to make a cocktail with him and I. So if you don't have your ingredients ready, it's okay. We're going to put those ingredients on the screen now, so go ahead and grab them. I'll wait. You said what? You said you want to keep going? You said just keep going? But when are they going to grab this? So they can pause it and then go get it and then, and then come back. See, I like you. That's brains. I like that. You said stop talking to you and look at the camera? All right. Well, let's, let's keep it going with the show then, shall we? Well, uh, with that, I think everyone, uh, I think we should introduce the man of honor, our featured guest. Uh, he is absolutely incredible, uh, and he was awarded a 2017 Bartender of the Year. He's here to transport our good spirits at Sea Bar to your home, and uh, he is a great guy. You're going to absolutely love him. Welcome, Princess's Cocktail Ambassador, Liquid Chef, Rob Floyd. Welcome, Rob. Hey, hey, thank you so much for having me. This is such a thrill. I love the, the pants, the, the wow, you'd be able to unzip that, get a sip, that's fantastic. And I'm just thrilled to be part of the Princess family as always. Absolutely, Robin. It's not just us here. We also have our Zoom room full of folks with ingredients ready. Uh, so Zoom room, I know you're ready to go. Let's look at you, you're looking great. We have Helga, hi Helga. Also we have Peter and Judy. Looking great. I love it. Watching it together, coupled up. We got Randy. How you doing, Randy? I like that shirt. That shirt's I awesome, Randy. Oh, and we have, oh my gosh, Joan Douglas with the bear, with the mask. Everybody safe this is there, but I love that. That is so fun. Okay, Rob, we have these interviews uh, usually starting with a question about the summer. You're normally traveling nonstop for Princess, for Bar Rescue, for speaking and teaching engagements. What has life been like for you over the past couple months? So the past couple months have been really different. Instead of the traveling nonstop and all that, it's been wonderful being at home. And I have a studio in my house in Nashville. So I've been filming nonstop, filming um. Uh, streaming it for different TV stuff. I've been doing the Kelly Clarkson show for NBC and just really trying to um, elevate people through Zoom, through different ways and being able to help build an experience so that they can make something fun that'll make them smile at home. So it's been very different as opposed to catching flights, catching ships, but uh, it's been really neat to be home with the family. 
That's right, because your family is about to expand a little bit too, isn't it? Oh yeah, well, uh, my beautiful wife is due tomorrow. She's due for a, a little, another princess. So we're very excited. Oh, that's so great. That's so great. Congratulations. Thank you. So uh, I saw on I saw on Princess's page that you had an episode with Ted Lange. Uh, you guys were, uh, you had a cocktail, you were making cocktail with he him? He is, I mean, Ted Lange is just amazing. One of, um, of course, from the Love Boat, from Princess Cruises. So he's part of the Princess family. And he's one of the most inspiring people I've ever met. Not only did he star on the show, but then he was just this brilliant TV director afterwards. And actors and producers and networks love to work with him because he's brilliant. In fact, he's written 23 plays since he finished the show. So he's just an amazing guy. You know, actually, we have a little clip that we're going to show of that. So let's go ahead and roll that clip. I love it. And do that love boat shake, baby. <laughs> Oh, shaken, not stirred. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And then we have our here. We are going to go ahead and take out a nice, speaking of shaken, not stirred, a nice martini glass. All right. And we are going to go ahead and pour it into that martini glass. So we have our strainer on top and we're pouring right in. And that beautiful color. Excellent. So that looks like fun. The cruise industry's favorite bartender. Uh, great experience. It was so much fun watching it as well. I think he's the most famous bartender in the world because everybody, they either grew up with him, they know him, and he just, he was so funny explaining the this, how that came to be, and oh, oh, oh you got it. So he was- I got one new one. Oh, yep, that's it. And he just- he said, what's my motivation for this move? And they said, you're getting paid. And he goes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> so that's great. It's great that Princess connected you two. And working with Princess, you've also, you're the man behind the good spirits at sea. And, that's, and you've created so many drinks, most of which are destination inspired. They're destination yeah. inspired. So, yeah, what's that creative Absolutely. process? You know, it's the first time that you have a global interactive cocktail experience based on a destination. So it's right in the princess wheel, wheelhouse of being able to take you where, somewhere, transport you. And whether you are going to Curacao or whether you're going to Thailand, you not only can enjoy this visual of a great TV show, of a great setting, of a great beautiful view, but you get to sip these flavors like you're there, like you're part of this experience. So that's why it was a thrill to be a part of it. I just adore working with these, these geniuses and to be able to create an experience that's what we call in a deep, where it doesn't exist right now. Oh, that's fantastic. So, but yeah. you, you yeah. and you spend a lot of time teaching and encouraging the average people to make cool drinks. Uh, I've seen a lot of them being made on the bars. But what's one ingredient that you think everybody should have in order to make better cocktails at home? What's a good in ingredient? Great question. So um, right now, let's face it, we all have to become our own favorite bartender because we can't just be hitting the place, be going around the corner and all that. I mean, maybe once or twice a month. So it's like we want to make some great cocktail experiences. We have to do it at home. The first thing I would suggest is to get rid of sugar together. All together, just get out of it and move to agave. It'll lower the caloric intake, and I think it gives it a better flavor, whether you're dealing with a zero-proof cocktail or something with a punch to it, whether it's any spirit you like. I like the uh, use of a little bit of agave because it transfers flavor from the front of the palate to the back, and that's all what we want something sweet to do. That's awesome. That's awesome. And now, and what about what about techniques to make the, the drink maybe look a little bit better? How do you make it from just liquid in a glass to a work of art? That's a great question. So to transform the cocktail, I always teach in what I call the three T's, taste, technique, and tail. Obviously your drink, whatever you're making, has to taste good. And since we're all becoming liquid chefs today, um, we have to make sure it tastes good. We're gonna do a fundamental technique each time, whether it's shaking it round and like almost corner to corner, corner to corner, and we'll do that together. And then finally, it has to have a story behind it. Because when you're making a cocktail, people are already tasting as they see it. 
but it's, it, you know, Yale did a study, people laugh and smile 17 times a day, but in a great bar, they do it 17 times an hour. So the third T is tail. It's the story that goes with the cocktail. Whether you used to, you just made this up, you were inspired by something, or it's something like for me, my dad taught me the old fashioned, his old fashioned. And so every time I make it, I think of him and I tell a, a dad story and it always makes me smile and think of him. Oh, that's so great. That's great. It's, it's something some simple, but it, it just adds to the whole environment. I love it. Exactly. And you're a storyteller. So it's like one of those fun things where you get to animate and, and share those experiences. And I think that's the brilliance between Princess and Good Spirits is it's all about a shared communal global experience. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. But now there are different types of drinks, of course, and you've been around the world and you've been, you know, tasting things and making things, creating your own works of art. What are some of your favorite drinks? Though? What do you like to drink? Like when you go out, what would you order? What I love to order is, I, of course, one of my favorites, the old fashioned, especially if I'm going to make it at home. 1805 old fashioned is just very simple, great cocktail. But if I'm going out, I like to explore the menu. I like to ask what they're known for. And then I also love to, you know, I love something with a little spice. I, I love something that takes a chance, that, that creates more of, instead of just a drink, and we say this a lot um, with princesses, it's an adventure in a glass. I want to uh, taste like I'm being transported, that I'm having this different experience, and it's not just a drink. I love it. Let, then let's make something that's not just a drink. I'm excited because you got something prepared for us. So Zoom Room, go ahead and get your ingredients ready. You at home, uh, get them as well. Uh, as you do, uh, Rob, go ahead and tell us about this drink that we're going to be creating. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So with this cocktail, um, we're going to be doing what is called a, a zero proof cocktail. Zero proof cocktail, meaning we're just going to create a cocktail that has a great flavor to it. And with that flavor, we're going to be using a little pepper. So um, with pepper, when people say, oh, I love peppers, uh, the, I love the taste, what they're really referring to is they're referring to the sensation the pepper has. So with this pepper, it is a, a jalapeno. It'll release uh, with the capsaicin, it'll release endorphins to the body. And with that endorphin, it'll automatically register as well. Good. Be careful cutting that, baby. Look like a pro. I missed, I missed every <laughs> single time. <laughs> haven't, haven't even touched it yet. So when we <laughs> cut it like that, we want to make sure that we have a nice little slice in there and a slice later. And this slice later is going to go into the glass and then we'll, we'll uh, garnish with that as we dress it up. But we have a little jalapeno in there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add a couple blackberries and a couple raspberries. So we're going to drop those right on in. Look at you all prepared. I love it. How many is a cocktail? Oh, that's, that's the beauty. I know. It's all fresh. It's all it's fresh. Great stuff. But we have our blackberries. We have our raspberries. We are becoming liquid chefs at home. We are becoming our own favorite bartender. So we have that. We have the base of this. And we're going to take a little muddler. Now at home, good. if you don't have a muddler, which is just using to crush, you know, stuff with your, your berries, your vegetal and all that. You can always use like the back end of a wooden. Oh, you have a spoon. I like it. <laughs> yep, you got it. So all you're gonna do is crush it up it's nice, wooden, nice it's, and well. That's what I got. So we're gonna give it a little crushing just like that. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, it's good for you. You look like this a rock This is my first time muddling. I've never muddled too. before. <laughs> All right, we're ready, ready. You look well muddled, well muddled. <laughs> Love it. Next, we're going to take, I'm very we muddled. talked about just a minute ago, we're going to take our agave. And with our agave, we're going to use, nice, we're going to use agave and we're going to pour some in. And you see the, uh, there you go. Just enough to get the flavor transferred. So about three quarters of an ounce. And then we're going to use our, yep, lime juice. Putting that right yeah, on Yeah, just, just enough. Not too much. So we now have the build of this really fun cocktail. So with it, we are going to ice up. And as we ice this, we are going to go ahead. And this is um, 
Uh, right now will be, you know, find time. You can use, you know, a spirit if you wanted to use like a spirit, like, like a, a vodka or, um, or a gin or maybe even a tequila, any of that. Um, if you wanted to kind of, yeah, you can use all three. All three work great to it. So, um, no, but then you after perfect. you go with that, then you're going to, you can use all three you're of gonna them. You're going to get ready to, like to make that. Ahead and give it that big shake. And this is that technique we were all talking about. It's that corner to corner, corner to corner, and you are shaking like a rock star. So if you don't have um, uh, a way to shake at home, you can always just use your spoon, your muddling spoon, your whatever, and you're just gonna give it a stir. But for those of us at home, we are ready to create magic. So, those of us who are in this chat room, those of us who are ready to build, I want you to think of yourself as the modern day Tom Cruise as we are about to shake our way to glory. Ready? One. Oh, we're ready. Ready. Do you feel in it? Two. Oh, I see the dance. I see the dance. Three. Let's shake. <laughs> oh, nice. Look at that. It's in the hips. You missed your calling. That's great. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Fantastic. We're going to go ahead and pop it. <laughs> Popped. Squeeze out that last bit. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to take a fresh glass and a little more ice in there. And before we pour this in, we're going to go ahead and pour a little ginger beer first. <clears throat> and the reason why is we're going to want the cocktail to work its way through so that you have this ginger beer that the bubbles are going to pop up right through. So it's about halfway. Nice. <laughs> and then we're ready to pour our cocktail right in. So. We have that, and we are going to pour this beautiful, beautiful cocktail in. And you can see the difference of the flavor and the color looks so pretty. Yeah, so now the beauty of it is you have a little of that fresh stuff, and then you can enjoy by putting the straw in and working it around. The last thing is it's building through this layer. Is yeah, it's layered. You take I a didn't little bit of that. herbs, whether it's mint or basil. And most of the time you see people muddle our mint or basil. I like it. But what we're going to do is we're going to spank it. We are going to go ahead and express the oil. And put it like this because we're all a home bar hero. We are going to go one, two, three. Oh! <laughs> But you see the nose, that smell, and it's boom. One more. Yes. <laughs> so let's drop that basil in. Let's throw that pepper on. And if you want to and you have a little extra fruit, you can just throw those in as well. And we now have a beautiful, beautiful cocktail experience to enjoy. All right. What are we calling this? I don't know. What are you calling this? I thought you were naming I, I, I think this show will be known as The Princess Proud. Oh, I love everybody that's joined us, cheers to The Princess Proud. Cheers. This is... Mm. Did you put all the alcohol in? <laughs> Did, ah, didn't you say... Ah. It's got some, some strong, some yeah, strong yeah. flavors on it. I'm going to order from you next time at the bar. <laughs> Did you, are you supposed to, you said, you said gin, vodka, or, and tequila, gin right? Gin or vodka, gin or vodka or tequila. One or one or one. I'm watching you next time. <laughs> <laughs> well, Zoom Room, hold up those drinks. Let's take a look, see how you're looking. Uh, Joan and Douglas, I see you there. All right, enjoying them, enjoying them. <laughs> Over there, that's Brandon. All right, in a, in a fancy glass too. Okay, all right. <laughs> I, I love Brandon. Brandon. He was swirling away big time. 
Helga Steve. I love it. You've got the mint there. You're right. Oh, that look. Do you see her? She's got the mint. Oh, and we have Peter and Judy, and they are both celebrating with us. They're having an, a moment in a glass, if you will. Oh, and Natasha. Natasha. Oh, and she's got a great cocktail there. I love it. She's made it along with us. And Scott, Scott. Uh, Scott's got the Hawaiian shirt on, a red and white Hawaiian shirt. That means you're, re you're ready. It's Friday for you somewhere. Oh, yeah. Scott's my drinking buddy. <laughs> I love it. Hi, Julie. Julie, I love you have the cocktail, the liquor in back of you as well. Not only a beautiful cocktail, she's got the mint just hanging off, ready and all friendly, ready for a sip. Right, because you can smell it too. That's great. Yeah. And Moira. Oh, Moira, Moira, I love your martini. It looks beautiful. And she has it up to the glass. So it looks like about a 20 ounce martini. That's my style. I've never had jalapeno in a drink before. Bad idea. I always think of if I'm going to be on the ship, I always love the dress up nights. And in the dress up night, I like to turn around, have my tuxedo ready, and I like to have a good spirits cocktail to start this all off. Are we ready? We are going to go ahead and have some fun with this cocktail. And this is a destination based cocktail. So we're going to think of we are traveling and exploring Curacao. So we are going to a beautiful, beautiful island that, that Princess goes to. We're going to taste and experience. And with it, we're going to start off with a pineapple juice and then a little bit of citrus as well. So we're going to balance it out there. But you notice what we didn't add? We didn't add sugar. No sugar, just that natural fibrous from the pineapple juice. Then we're going to go ahead. Now, normally you use a jigger on all of this. And, and just so we know at home what a jigger is, is it, it's a unit of measurement, but it also used to be the smallest mast on a ship in the 1800s. So your ration was dependent on the smallest mast or the jigger of the ship. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a little blue curacao to this cocktail. We're going to add a touch of orange liqueur, whether it's a Cointreau or a Grand Marnier or something just delicious there. Then we're going to add a little tequila. Not all the tequila, vodka, and gin and whatnot, but we're going to go about one and a half ounces in. And we have built the beginning of our Curacao experience from Good Spirits. We're going to ice this up. And as we ice it up, I cannot wait until you all get to enjoy this cocktail on the ship. But this is one of those fun things. Your shake, by the way, money. Money, money, money. <laughs> corner to corner, we're giving it a good shake. We popped here. Squeeze that last bit in. Now this is the fun. All the cocktails for good spirits should always have a story to tell. You should walk by, you should see it and go, oh my gosh, I have to experience that cocktail. I've got to go there. I've got to be part of that. So with it, we're going to build our first part of the alcohol here. And with this, we are going to build an elderflower foam. With that elderflower foam, we're going to pour the second in. And with the second part, Nice. We're seeing the clouds rise over Curacao. And that cocktail comes to life. Now that's what I love about good spirits. You have the clouds rising. You know that you are about to enjoy yourself. You're about to have a lot of fun. And the cocktail just doesn't become a drink. It becomes an experience, a destination in a glass. Right. You ready it for looks one? delicious. I'm going to toast you. I'm trying to get this one down, but it's, it's, the, it's, <laughs> it's the tequila and the vodka fighting over who's going to get to gin, and they're all doing the fight on my tongue. Oh, that's great. It's just one or the other, I'm guessing. But it's, it's a gorgeous <laughs> drink. And, I mean, the Curacao, that, that's, that's, I love the, the idea behind it. Like, it looks like I've never even seen something like that at a bar on land anywhere. We have those on board our ships on board the ships and the good spirit experience is each one is different. Each one should be a little fun. 
They should be whimsical and have a great story. And as you walk by, you should go, oh, that's a good spirits cocktail. Oh, I'm on a princess ship. I'm exploring, I'm experiencing everything to the utmost. So, and I'm ready for formal night. I am, I've got my, I'm cabin ready. I'm drink ready. I'm, re I'm tuxedo ready. I'm excited. <laughs> You're good to go. I absolutely love it. Well, I, thank you so much for coming on and making these drinks. Uh, the Princess Proud, I think this, this this might be the debut of it ever here. And so with that, uh, uh, this this trophy for most handsome drink uh, is going to go to you and the Princess Proud. Uh, it looks like my dad's second place ping pong trophy, but it, it, it very clearly says most handsome drink. And this definitely is to you. I'm going to keep it here. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'll see you at the Good Spirits Bar. We'll have a couple cocktails, a couple experiences. This is a lot of fun. And thank you, everyone, for joining. Well, see you soon, Rob. Cheers, everyone. So next month, we're going to keep bringing you more short-form videos to keep us all connected. Our crew, both aboard and at home, are missing you so much. So we're going to check in with a few of them, as well as play some games live on Facebook. Don't forget to check out Rob Floyd at Rob Floyd Entertainment on Instagram. But on behalf of all of us here at Princess, thank you so much for watching Princess Connects Live. We'll see you soon.